Hello everyone, it's been a beautiful long two months project on the 3 4 swap and the day has finally come. Tomorrow I'm officially turning down the 3.0 engine and that's the 3 4 engine and we're gonna put that bad boy in there. Fingers crossed that everything goes smooth. The 3 0 engine's already sold so I don't have to worry about where to store it, where to throw that engine at. So the owner will pick it up once I'm done pulling it tomorrow. But super excited, all nice and pretty over a thousand bucks in tune-up and parts and stuff like that man i am super excited man this is one of the last time that i'll be driving this truck with the 30 engine so i think tonight i'm just gonna cruise a little bit of downtown and just enjoy this beautiful truck you guys see how much it sags i want to fix that this year i might add another leaf to the back of it and make it a little bit more stiffer because i don't like the way it's sagging that engine is probably maybe 600, 700 pounds. I want the back to be more stiffer. Or maybe I'll just get new leaf springs, who knows. day we're gonna go ahead and remove this 3.0 just got everything all settled up all the tools the three four set down there we're gonna go ahead and start by removing all the good stuff we got to be very careful because we are keeping this engine or at least this engine is being sold so we want to make sure we don't damage anything we're going to move the battery move everything out move the radiator out and get this to its new owner and then get the three four in so make sure you guys stay tuned for the swap i'll go ahead and try to vlog if i have time but if not you guys can check out the full time lapse we'll have a, i'll have a time lapse of the whole process of the engine removal enjoy let's go three four After two hours we finally got the 3.0 motor out a few things we have to remove is the dust guard for the steering arm and uh, I was told to slam down the metal heat shell we're gonna change the throttle bearing and maybe clean a little bit here where where we at Samba Samba shop yeah 
Nu is doing this uh, by himself. He said we. That I just, well, you definitely helped me pull that. I, I just pumped the jack and that's all. Yeah. That's all. Well, he definitely helped me out. We had a little bit of trouble getting the engine uh, disconnected from the tranny, but it was just under some tension. So we were able to do that. And then we also had to remove my tires. Last time we did, uh, we had to remove the full runner's tire too. These are 33s, so even with the 33s, we had to remove it because the engine lift here was way too uh, it maxed out. So we're gonna let it sit right there. This is a 3.0. We're gonna use the 3.0 engine mounts, so we gotta take these guys off. And then I'm also gonna be using the heater core, the heater hose. So I gotta remove these heater hose right here, <coughs> these two main ones. Take these two main one out and then that's pretty much it we'll leave the clutch attached with it um, ac compressor we'll leave that attached with that as well and i think i might be using these guys here these are the um the additional mount for the tranny to the engine i think they should mount onto the three four motor so i want to take a look i have the 3.0 engine mount mounted on just uh, for reference next time, don't install your oil dipstick yet because if you install it, you have to take it back off in order to mount the uh, engine mounts. You mount the engine mounts first and then put the oil dipstick inside and then go from there. These are the brackets off the 3.0 and uh, this 3.4 this didn't have these brackets so I installed these brackets, the same hose for it and uh, that's where the bill housing connects to, it's just an extra support. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, you got six main one on the on the engine block and then the rest is the starter and then these two so you have two here two for the starter and then six for the engine block and then two more down here this is the one for the um passenger side all the bushings are still good it's nice and stiff this one right here slides this one slides between uh the ac compressor so behind it so this bolt here is much longer than the rest of the four three other ones and then to mount the two bolts up here, this heat shield has to come off. So make sure you take this heat shield off. And other than that, we're pretty much ready to drop the 3-4 into the uh, truck here. I'm just going over one last thing and just making sure everything looks good. These two hoses right here are the heater hose. And these two are from the 3 -0. So I have them loose right now, just to make sure. Um, I have them loose for now, and then once I get them on the truck, I'll go ahead and see if they're the right size and the right configuration. But these two are from the 3 -0. And other than that, we're pretty much it. Ready to put the clutch in. Make sure you take this piece out. eight hours into the swap and the 3.0 is out and the 3.4 is finally in it's all bolted up engine bolted from the bell housing and the engine mounts but we don't have any of the plumbing any of the electrical done yet we're gonna do that on another day once we get some rest and relax our brain but man this is crazy <laughs> three four motor i did went ahead and cut the hood brace and it does close but you still gotta kind of slam it I think it's making it's making a few dents already. So we'll see how it goes, man. We'll see how it does with the hood with the brace off. It barely clears it just enough to get around. So we'll see what happened. All that leak right there is the power steering. So we'll go ahead and put new power steering. Man, what an exciting journey, guys. This is one of the hot wire that goes to the battery. 
you have this one and the hot wire that goes to the starter we're gonna remove this one here and then we're gonna use the one from toy only swatch which taps into the 80 amp alternator and then it goes directly to the starter so instead of running another wire from here to the battery um, according to toy only swap you go from right here to the starter and then that hot wire will go from here to the starter and then it jumps power to that hot wire to the fuse box so hopefully that makes sense so right now i'm just going to go ahead and remove this and then install that toy only swap hot fuse wire this right here is the hot fuse box wire so by toy only swap i want to say it's about maybe four foot three foot to the starter this goes to the starter post 80 amp fuse box so that's what we're going to do power goes to the starter power gets to this right here and it gets into the fuse box so t in order to access the nuts to loosen these wire you have to pop this 80 amp out and what you do is you pop this you pop this push tab and then you push that out this is the hot wire that i was referring to and here's what it looks like it doesn't screw into it it's actually welded onto or it's actually soldered into it so i'm gonna have to go ahead and cut that off and then that hot wire that we're gonna be using is gonna be going to this nut right here i really like this setup because this wire comes back out to the factory wire so this is how it comes out factory and then you can route it right down to the starter i'm gonna wait till tomorrow and we'll do that for another day i'm gonna go ahead and uh, wrap it up for tonight so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog of assembling the 3-4 swap of the 3-4 engine here next day or the next vlog we're gonna go ahead and try to finish up the rest of the wiring and also get this power steering set up i got the ac set up but i'm having some issue with the power steering the original 3-0 hose so i'll have to figure this out once i get the power steering set up then i can go ahead and move on to getting my hot wire to the starter to the battery and then after that we'll go ahead and install the fan and radiator and we're also going to be doing a full flush on the fan and radiator we're going to go ahead and flush it with distilled water because we're adding new uh, red coolant from the xerox one that we mentioned from our earlier videos hope you guys enjoy today's video didn't vlog too much but i did take some photos here and there so if you guys got any questions let me know in the comment section below and i hope you guys have a wonderful night thank you